Hi everybody, my name is Jeppe Sweil, I'm living in Sweden uh, and I have seen a lot of nice films from YouTube with the different kind of people who are making walking sticks. Uh, I would like to show a little bit of my work. I started last year and have got a lot of inspiration from the films I saw on YouTube. So I would like to maybe give you a little bit of inspiration from my side. Uh, I normally try to work with Unifer and uh, those not too heavy branches are about 35 to 50 years old. They are grown up in a very, very, very bad area, so it takes a long time to get them in good size. They are still a little bit flexible, but they are very, very, very strong and are nice to work with. They also have a, a quite nice grains with different kind of patterns in, uh, in the stocks, so it's nice. If you look about uh, the normal walking sticks, we have a very thin one, to small people, a light people, and a little bit heavier one. And if you have a person who really have need to have something really rough and tough to work with. So everything could be done, it just to try to find the right top to the right piece of branch. Uh, we normally work with with, um, uh, with with this end of the, the antler who give a good a good grip as you can see here. And sometimes we just polish it and sometimes we put uh, black or other kind of wood in the front uh, and it gives a good con contrast to the to the white antler and also the black in the antler. It's very nice and very natural and have a very nice feeling. Uh, we're also doing walking sticks, longer ones like this and uh, normally you said that you should have 90 degrees, this is too short for me, it should be 90 degrees in the elbow to have a good a good grip when you're walking. So I have different kind of length on, on, on my walking sticks. Uh, and shooting sticks, uh, I have another idea and most people have about the shooting stick. In my opinion, the shooting stick, I put them into my foot like this, in this angle, and I put my hand in the top and the rifle here. If I just go forward, I lower, and if I go backward, I higher. And also right to left, it's much, much easier and a good stability instead to have it like many people have it just straight up. So if you're using one stick, it's much better to put it in the foot and do like that. But you need to have the, the grip further down when you walk with it because to have the right angle if you're walking in the highlands or whatever. So that's a good idea maybe you could think about. Uh, also, if you would like to have a longer, just a walking stick, if you were jumping over small rivers or anything, it's nice to have a longer one and then you need to have the, the grip further down and have more on the top. Or as traditional, have it like, like this one. Uh, we also make uh, candles. And uh, you can see, for example, um, a candle like this. I should take this away so you can see a little bit more easy. A candle like this is um, very positive or nice to have in the table. And a little bit of a green around it maybe for a nice dinner party. It's very nice to look at in the evening and then put lights on the, on the candles. If you're making smaller ones, here I have a top from a big uh, uh, red deer. And this i not finished yet, maybe one or two candles, I'm not decided yet, but also very nice to have, to have a, 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 on a table. So um, I hope I can give a little bit back to you guys, because I have g g got a lot of my interest from your side. And now I like to give something back so you could see what I'm doing. And uh, if you're walking in the forest next time, if, even if you don't have done anything before, please take a stick with you home and try to do something yourself. It's so nice to have something you have done yourself. If anybody interested in my stuff, please contact me. Good luck with your hobby.